My name is Brian Johnson, and for the past three years, I've been trying to slow my speed of aging as much as possible using data and science. I want to build a community of people who share this goal of not dying. So last week, I invited the internet to join me on an intense weekly trail run. 100 people showed up. Today, we're going to do it again. This time though, I'm going to do something different. This is how you stop the aging process. People of course love to gain things, but they hate losing things. So what we're going to do is offer up a $50 bill to somebody and they have to go to bed on time within 30 minutes of their bedtime for seven days straight. Otherwise they have to give the $50 bill to someone else. It's meant to call attention to the price you pay for aging and make it tangible and real. I brought the cutoffs last time and was it creepy? <laughs> Is this appropriate? Someone online was like, you're like one kettlebell away from One kettlebell away from being in trouble. Yeah, <laughs> yeah all night. I had just difficulty sleeping last night, which is rare. All night, I was dreaming about how we're gonna get millions of people in the world to embrace Don't Die in all forms. Yeah, the idea is millions of people protesting around the world against all forms of death and self-destruction. So that includes protest against self, against fast food, against the societal influences that encourage us to accelerate death and disease and decay. So it's unlike any other protest where I'm trying to think of another time humans have gone out and protested against themselves. There's a lot of people believe in don't die. It's not a cute slogan. It's not a clever social media campaign. It's legitimately uh, an attempt at a revolution. Don't sigh. Lie, don't die. What rhymes with die? Try. Don't try, don't don't spy. <laughs> <laughs> don't sigh, don't 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 lie, don't 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 die. What rhyme with die? Try, try, spy. <laughs> hey, good morning. Thank you, friend. Appreciate that very much. I'll see you guys down there. This gentleman was waiting for me to arrive and he paid my parking. That's so nice of him, he insisted. This is the thing, everyone here is so nice. I'm not sure why it attracts such amazing people. Amazing people don't want to die. Or lie. Or lie, or cry, or sigh. <laughs> <laughs> don't die. Hey, what's up? All right. All cheap. How you doing? Yeah. This is gonna be a, a tug of love, and I'm gonna give you a few prompts. Do we care that McDonald's has a toy in their Happy Meal? No! no. Do we care if two Whoppers are five dollars? No. Okay. Everyone, this is my son Talmadge, my blood boy. Hi, Talmadge. Hello. Hello. I have some extra blood Hello. after. If you yeah. want. Hit him up for blood. Revolution. What do we say? to crushing to mescal trail. Oh yeah. yeah! Don't die on three. One, two, three. No, Don't no, die! I'm so happy you're here. I'm happy we're together. I'm happy we're doing this. And I think this is the beginning of something very big. This is a, a moment. It's about our individual health and wellness, but it's about our collective health and wellness. have a dance party. So how about we spread out a little bit and let's get our boogie on. Don't hold back. So I'm gonna give you a $50 bill. It's yours to keep if you can go to bed at your bedtime for seven days in a row. If, if you miss it, 
you have to give the $50 bill to someone else. Okay. You choose your bedtime. Within 30 minutes of your chosen bedtime. 8 8 8 8 8 30. 8 30. You heard it, mate. 8.30. 8.30. I definitely by 10. Okay, good. Let's go. Okay. Time. 10 as well. 9 o'clock. 9 o'clock. Yeah. 8.30. 8.30. 9.15. 9 o'clock. Let's do it. 9.30. I just think it's so cool that for like the past year there's been like an online community built around this and like it has its pros but there's something about in-person connection that you just can't get with it and I feel like we're finally getting that. I'm very proud of Talmadge. He uh, last year moved across the country to live with me and uh, everyone in his world told him not to do it. Wow. Yep. And so um, it was a moment for him and he's been thriving so I'm very proud of him. The objective of this is as artificial intelligence advances, as the existential question becomes more pressing for humanity, that don't die can step in and we say, this is what we do as a species. And so it's really, you know, it's, it's kind of maybe a little weird that we're building artificial intelligence with suicidal mindsets. We're anticipating that death is inevitable. And it'd be much better if we were building the super intelligence with this uh, insatiable thirst for life. That's what I really hope to build. So I know that you had a successful startup and created your wealth before going in, uh, going on this health adventure. And I'm in a position where the past year of my life I've lived very unhealthily, sleeping a little, trying to start a startup. If you were to go back, would you do the same thing? Do you think it benefited you in the long run to build the wealth first, followed by going after the health adventure, or would you have just started this from the beginning? Same question with Talmadge. We talk about this every day. The Talmadge does not lack an ambition with what he wants to do in life. We have this dialogue every day of how you balance all those things, and we're trying to carve out a path where you don't need to martyr yourself for that thing. Yeah. You can do both. It takes discipline. You need to say no to a lot of things, mm. but it is a falsehood that you need to somehow martyr yourself in order to achieve success. People hate on you online. Yeah. I mean, they don't even know you, right? How do you deal with these people? Love them because they're talking to, their, to themselves. It's always yes and, never no but. Yeah. Always yes and. Yeah. Welcome them, love them. They're going through their own thing. It's very hard to be human. We all know this. Everyone's in their own spot. Conflict never works. Being combative never works. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. It's a wrap. That was over 200 people. So much energy and goodness and fun. They just keep on getting better. Proof of concept done. The second gathering was like it's a thing. And third, it really confirms it that there's a big opportunity here. It's another question is what do we do next?